All right, uh, hello, I am Allie with uh, Disneyland News Today, and we are here on a nice sunny day at Disneyland Resort, and we have a couple new food items to try today. Uh, we have a new pretzel from the Tomorrowland pretzel cart, and then we also have three new items at Royal Street Veranda. So uh, let's go give them a try. All right, hi, I'm Allie with Disneyland News Today, and we are gonna try this new Supernova pretzel. Uh, it is a cheese, jalapeno cheese filled pretzel with, I believe, spicy Cheeto crumble on top. Um, it's big size, served warm. Uh, let's go ahead and give this a shot. The pretzel is a little hard on the outside for my liking. Um, the center, as you can see, is definitely filled with cheese. And I'm getting a lot of jalapeno notes. So if you don't like jalapeno, you can definitely skip this. Um, the spicy Cheeto is crumbling absolutely everywhere. So make sure you get a lot of napkins. Overall, it is less spicy than I thought it would be. Um, but not really to my liking. I don't really enjoy jalapeno, but if you do like spicy things in jalapeno, then this is definitely worth a shot. It was $7.75 over here in Tomorrowland, but definitely cheesy, lots of jalapeno, and crumbling Cheetos everywhere. All right, our second stop today was Royal Street Veranda. We got three items from here. Uh, the first one we have is an Impossible Wrap. Uh, the second thing we have is a steak salad. And then for dessert, we have these blueberry fritters. So let's start with the Impossible Wrap. Um, looks like it's got a lot of lettuce, sauce, cheese, and some impossible sausage in there. A uh, giant green tortilla. Uh, there's way more tortilla than filling. Let's see, first bite is just mostly lettuce. Not a ton of flavor here. Let's just dig into the meat part of it. Actually, the impossible part has pretty good flavor. And it's a little spicy. And it just tastes like the tacos you'd make at home with the taco seasoning from the store. Um, I wouldn't know this is impossible unless somebody told me. So that part I like. Not a bad option. If you're looking for a vegetarian option, I think most people would be pretty happy with this. Uh, it is a lot of tortilla, but the flavor is pretty good. It's a little bit spicy though, so just be warned on that. Uh, next, let's try the steak salad. So the dressing comes on the side. Let's see what the dressing tastes like. It's good. It's kind of a peppercorn ranch thing. I like it. Um, there's a lot of steak on this salad, huge, huge pieces of steak, so that part is nice. Um, the lettuce looks a little bit wilted, not super impressed with the lettuce. Two giant cherry tomatoes, a couple candied pecans, that's cool. And there is a little bit of blue cheese sprinkled throughout. I'm not a huge blue cheese fan, so we're just going to scrape that to the side. So let's go ahead. Dump some dressing on here. The dressing is good, it's super flavorful. 
The candied pecans add some nice crunch. I uh, actually cannot taste the blue cheese. I'm a little surprised with that, so that's good. Um, the steak comes in huge chunks, so I'm not exactly sure how they want us to eat that other than with this plastic knife, which isn't really doing much. <laughs> um, here's a little piece. Um, steak's a little under season. It's all right. It's kind of like a salad. I feel like they didn't put a lot of thought into. It's okay. It's not great. I mean, if you're looking for a salad and you really like steak, it's a lighter option in the park, so maybe worth a shot for that. But overall, this was pretty disappointing. The lettuce is not great. All right, let's try. They have these blueberry fritters. They're very blue and comes with a lemon curd dipping sauce. Um, for the serving size, these are huge. You get three large fritters. The fritters here are usually pretty good. And these are not bad. Um, very blueberry, not overly blueberry. A little bit of the artificial blue is coming through, but it definitely seems like they use some fresh blueberries in there. The lemon curd dipping sauce is really, really nice. It's acidic, it's light, and it cuts through the fritters, fritters really well. It definitely needs that. All right, so overall, uh, we tried two different places today. We had the Supernova pretzel from the pretzel cart in Tomorrowland. Um, overall, that was okay. Like, if you love jalapenos, you're probably gonna be pretty happy with that. Um, if you don't like spicy things or jalapenos, then uh, like me, you can wait for the next round to see what they have uh, next go around when they bring out something else seasonal. Uh, our second stop was Royal Street Veranda. Um, again, it was a little bit of a disappointing lunch. Um, the steak salad was not great. Uh, the quality of ingredients wasn't quite there. The steak was huge and super hard to cut and the horseradish dressing was just kind of overpowering everything. Uh, the second thing was the impossible wrap, which actually was okay. I liked it. Um, reminded me of tacos that I would make at home, kind of that seasoning, um, just a bunch of ingredients kind of thrown in there. Again, not overwhelming, but a decent choice uh, if you're vegan and looking for that. Um, and then the last thing that was actually really good was the blueberry fritters. Um, so those were good, uh, nice and crispy and light on the outside. Uh, the lemon curd dipping sauce was really, really good. Uh, helped cut through those and the serving size for that was uh, really generous, so as they usually are. So I uh, would definitely give the blueberry fritters a try. Uh, if you're looking for something vegan, give the wrap a try. And if you like jalapenos, uh, go for the pretzel, but uh, otherwise definitely skip the steak salad. That was uh, super disappointing for the price point on that. All right, uh, thanks for coming along with me. I'm Allie with uh, Disneyland News Today.